Right, here we go. Looks like Twitch chat has decided to work. Oh, hang on. It's like a technical hiccup there. I actually forgot to um, put X Padder up. Get that running. Oh Christ, absolutely, totally boiling in the UK here today. It has been a glorious, glorious day. Right, now, I'm starting to think I'm going to be running out of inventory slots soon. I am. So we've got caramel chocolate bar, pink jelly, and some sort of candy at the minute. <laughs> You're alright, Mr. Pepper. Sorry about the delay, mate. Just, um, it's like Twitch chat was having problems again. Tonight, I'm going to head east. Really do need to get a better lantern. Oh, hey, oh, where did he come from? Oh, uh, crafty little devil started drinking a potion. Battered cotton chest armor. Let's have a look. Hey, an upgrade at last. Although, I don't know if it is actually, because of the tempo. Uh, it's hard to tell really. I don't know enough about the mechanics yet, to be honest. I'm surprised there's no iron ore or anything in there. Um, can I make potions? Yes, I can. If I do that, I can pick up more heart flowers, you see. Oh. I've got an ice, and I do mean ice cold kind of coke in front of me. Heavenly bliss on an evening like this. Might as well use those. They're not a lot of use in. Well, you can't really use those in combat anyway. But 
Oh, we got a bit uh -huh. of downtime. Oh, look at all that lot over there. Ah, oh, red. Now, like I said, from what I can understand, if they're red mobs, I um, I can't use my stun ability on my second attack, so. I really need to go back to town, don't I? But Jesus, that would take a long time. I mean, look at it. I suppose if I headed north directly from here, it would kind of get me there. And who knows what we'll find along the way. Let's do it. Oh, welcome back to chat, Mr. Pepper. Did you get your Coke, did you? I was just saying I've got an ice-cold can in front of me. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing very well, thank you, mate. How about yourself? Yeah, and not only a weekend, Pepper, a weekend of steam sales. I've been quite good so far. In terms, of, well, I've bought three games, so I suppose <laughs> I've not been that good. But um, it's not even totaled sort of like six quid yet, so I don't count that. I mean, it is ridiculous. I bought, like I was saying on stream, um, was it last week? I bought Just Cause 2. I got a really good deal on it. Something like two and a half quid for the DVD version, PC. Just so, Pepper, can you hear um, anything on the stream that you shouldn't be hearing? Just bear with me one sec, mate. I do apologise. Sorry, Pepper. So it was a, another TV on in the house and it was a, a little bit loud, to say the least. I don't know if you could hear it or not, but I could say. Where were we? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, just because I, I, like I said, I got it actually delivered. So, because I, like, like I've always said, I do like to have a hard copy of the game. It's just something I've always done. I like to sort of collect. But um, I think that stems back from when PC games used to have awesome boxes and awesome like 90 page manuals and things like that. But uh, I saw Just Cause 2 on the Steam sale today for something ridiculous, like about a pound, one pound seventy-five, and I just bought it again. So I've got a PS3 version, an Xbox 360 version, two versions on PC now, and I've not actually played any of them really. And I've played the PS3 version for a while, but. You know, in terms of actually getting on with the campaign, probably, what, 10% into it, if that. What's well, that? You were suspicious the first few days you had Steam. What, because everything was so damn cheap? <laughs> oh, I don't think people know what they're missing out on. Yeah, I, I I have to get the DVD version to the extreme point where I end up double dipping sometimes because of Steam sales, as is the case with Just Cause 2. I just like to collect them. I, li I like that hard copy. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think I'm just old school in that respect. Mr. Pepper, do you link all your non-Steam games to your Steam account? Oh, that's an orange one. Well, actually, orange isn't as bad as red, is it? Right, okay, we'll ignore what I said earlier. Then. Yeah, I'm a bit OCD like that, mate. I do. I link every single game and everything gets launched through Steam. Again, absolutely no idea why I do that. But I do. And every now and again, all my shortcuts just vanish. And it's the most infuriating thing. Almost as infuriating as... God damn you! Almost as infuriating as that. I think I need to zoom in a bit, don't I? Right, I'm quite clearly not heading in the right way there. <laughs> yeah, I remember the first time it happened. Yeah, I sort of got like 40 plus games sitting there. I think I own 26 actual Steam games or something at the moment, but I'd got about another 14 linked at the time. So I'd got about 40 when it first happened. And I, I Steam popped up and I just got a few games that I was like, oh my god, what the hell has happened to my catalogue? And of course, back then I hadn't made backups of all the shortcut links. So I had to relink every single game. Oh god, what a nightmare. I was so depressed that day. I can kind of understand the attitude of all your eggs in one basket with Steam though. It's uh, It can be a little bit worrying. Oh, hang on, someone at my front door. I shall return.
Right, back Pepper. That's right, everyone just uh, got back from swimming. <laughs> MacArthur. Oh, do you reckon he can make it all the way out there? Oh, just about. You know what? I'm just suddenly realised. I'm regretting putting all those points into um, the pets now. Because I reckon I could possibly afford a hang glider. Ooh! A ding! I wasn't expecting that. Oh, and look. Oh, brilliant start to the night. What have we got? A strawberry cake. And a useless long sword. New pet, though. Awesome. <laughs> Have you paid, uh, paid, played Bastion? Hello Maddox, welcome back to the channel mate. How you been? Yeah, how come you're not a mod, Pepper? I tell you what, Twitch chat is the most broken piece of you know what. Every week there seems to be a problem with it. In fact it's getting daily, to be quite honest with you. And it's never been that good, has it? Yeah, Pepper's our resident moderator normally, Maddox, but um, for some reason Twitch doesn't want to actually accept his awesomeness this evening. Have you got Cube World, Maddox? I need to sleep. <laughs> I was I'll tell you what I was gonna ask you, Mr. Pepper, have you got um, Borderlands two? Oh wow, Grumbot's working even though he's not a moderator. Perfect. At least you're not losing out on your Grum Bombs, mate. I know how much that would disappoint you. Oh. I was thinking over the weekend, um, VG Dude mentioned it, I noticed he's playing it as well. Um, we could try and all meet up on 
Where the hell am I going? Uh, meet up on Borderlands 2. All start new characters or something. I mean, I've not again, it's a game I've not played. Ooh. Not played that much of. No, not getting through there, am I? And I, I absolutely adore Borderlands 2. I was a massive fan of the first one. I was trying to convince everyone I knew to play it, but uh, it was one of those games you kind of had to experience it to sort of really understand what it was all about. Oh god, the same here, Pepper, so don't worry, we'll be alright together, mate. I'm a complete Borderlands 2 noob. I've played it for quite a long time, but again, a bit like Just Cause 2, I suppose. Never really done anything with it. At the time, I was playing about a lot with... Oh, what's it called? Um, oh, Sweet FX. You know, the graphics kind of overlay as such. And also at the same time, I think I was playing Skyrim, and as we've spoken about before, I've probably spent more time playing about with mods and all the rest of it than actually playing the game. So yeah, I, I know virtually nothing about Borderlands 2, mate, so if you're up for it, we can... Uh, Try and set up a little grumble game with the grumble followers and what have you. Yeah, we'll start new characters, Mr. Pepper. Oh, sorry, Pepper. Now, hang on. Didn't Ninja tell me that I could use... Is it a candy bar? Oh, yes. He was right. We got a little putty cat. Gotta catch them all. Right, what do I want? I put Billy Bite about. <laughs> it's no doubt going to be on Steam sale. Uh, Maddox. It always seems to be on offers and things on Steam, so I should imagine it will be part of this year's summer sale. It's already quite cheap now, isn't it? I mean, I've not got any of the expansion packs, or DLC rather, as it's known these days. Let's go and restock up on potions. Gotta catch him all, Pokemon. <laughs> what do I want? I want lots of glass flasks. Where are they going? Ah, oh, there you go. Uh, oh, I don't know whether to sell a load of this stuff, I mean. Oh, let's just do it. Anything that I can't use, I'm just going to flog it. Oh! Is there a buyback? Is that buyback? Aha! It is awesome. See what Walla, he made this. He's, he's done a bloody good job, hasn't he, for a one-man band. Bloody credit to him, I tell Oh, Jesus, I'm selling all my bloody daggers as well here. Alright, warrior, can't use that. Iron fist, probably not a lot of use to me. Warrior, ranger, ranger, mage, warrior, warrior, warrior. I was sort of saving all this in the hope that some of the viewers might get the game, but seeing as <laughs> no one actually 
actually seems to have been able to buy it <laughs> since last weekend. I do need to clear up some inventory space. Alright, we're looking at okay with everything else, aren't we? Okay! Gotta catch them all! Um. Done a pretty good job of exploring all that. Right. What's in Sanden Forest? Can't recall what was there. There's two, I think if I just start heading north, go through sand and forest. Oh, isn't that just where the bug boss was? Um... Tell you what, I'm going to head northwest. See what happens. See what we can find. Another little cube world adventure. Tell you what, I really fancy listening to now is the introduction music to Borderlands 1. I absolutely love that. Oh, zooming the map a bit. Oh! I'm not got Billy Bite or have I? Billy Boy. <sighs> this chat died again. Oh, no, I'm still on. Sorry, it looked like I was trying to connect for a minute. They're a bit tougher than I thought. Beetle's still after me. Oh, thanks, Pepper. Thanks for letting me know, mate. Twitch chat is just appalling. What I don't understand is it's been like this almost since day one. There's not really been any improvement at all. So you've got to assume they actually haven't got a clue what the actual problem is. Which is rather frustrating. Can you imagine what it's going to be like when Xbox One links into it? Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, I agree, mate. Yeah. We had, it wasn't a whole day when it was down, or near enough a whole day. <laughs> You'd think, uh, you know, a, a kind of company that could deal with such... Oh! Jeez. Well, that doesn't sound good, Pepper. I take it the stream's still working. It's just ch chat, sorry, that's dead. I was going to kill that cat. I just can't bring myself to do that. Yeah, I mean, for a company that can deal, like, what must be... Oh, I, I can't even comprehend the, the bandwidth that must run through their um, servers, but to have something as basic as a chat not working, I mean, let's face it, though, I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about, but you would have thought their expertise would uh, cover something that basic. I hope it's not a case that they just don't care. But, at the same time, you've got to give them kudos. I mean, it is a fantastic service that they offer. At absolutely no cost whatsoever. I mean, I would happily pay Twitch um, for the privilege of being able to use their service. I'd, I'd have no issue with that at all. You know, as long as it wasn't a ridiculous cost. I'm sure a lot of people would not agree with that, but uh, I believe in paying for a good service. It's just chat that sucks, so I'd want a discount. <laughs> I'll pay you, but not until you fix chat. It's a beautiful game. It really is. I was trying to get sweet effects running with it actually, but um, for some reason it doesn't like it. And since the forums have been pretty much offline since it released, it really hasn't been anywhere to sort of go and post about issues like that. Well, not that it's an issue, but I'm just a big fan of sweet effects. Constantly playing about tweaking it. Got to check those dark corners. You never know. What I might do later is. Oh. Um. In about 20 minutes or so, have a quick 5 minute break and jump on Just Cause. <laughs> Just Cause 2, that is. <laughs> Yay! Come on, I want to find a cave. I love that noise. Whoa! Well, 
cube world seems a little bit barren this evening. I swear sometimes I log in and there's mobs absolutely everywhere and uh, oh he speaks too soon. was dead. Oh, that's my bad. Got it. Now, hang on, I can't. Oh, where was I? Oh, were they just over there? Hello, Billy boy. Let's go and get that bloody dwarf. And you know, that's no way. That's a dwarf. You look like an elf. You are not a real dwarf, imposter. Um, that away. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Too cute. There's a TV on in my house somewhere, and the base on it must be cranked that high. I mean, my whole room's bloody vibrating. I hope you guys can't hear it. It's making my toes tingle. One thing I like about this game so far is the, um, the kind of realistic, I know it's probably the wrong word for it, the more convenient shall I say. Um, things like XP, you know, 73 out of 309, not, you know, 27,000 out of 6 million or whatever it's going to be. And the money as well, you know, I've not even got a gold piece yet. It seems manageable. I'm sick and tired of games where you need 20 million XP. It doesn't matter, I know it's still the same. It's just... My head likes looking at 73 out of 309. It makes more sense. It's simplistic. Diablo 3, for example, Christ Almighty, the auction house on that bloody thing at the moment. Never, I always, you, know, you just never know how many goddamn noughts to add these days. Let's 
go for a swim. It's bloody hot here. Oh, that'd be awesome right now. It looks like nice cool water as well. Pokemon! Oh, it's been the hottest ever today, mate. Or at least where I am. No, total opposite here. It's been really, really still. Absolutely no breeze and just baking sunshine all day. I mean, it's great, don't get me wrong, but when you're at work, ugh. It makes the day very difficult. Looking forward to the weekend with it though. That'll be nice. Actually, I've just remembered as well, I've got a couple of days off next week. That'll be nice. Let's just hope the weather stays. <laughs> it's been a long time coming, Pepper. Every week I've been sort of trying to book something, but uh, I never really seem to have a convenient time to do it. Or rather, a convenient period to take off. You're going to Thailand in three weeks? Oh, mate, that would be epic. I remember you saying about that, actually. Who are you going with? Good guy or bad guy? Bad guy. <laughs> Are you going with your mate? Oh, awesome. I don't think they're worth bothering with. Oh. Have they followed me? Oh, seeing as you've followed me, I'm going to have to kill you. Double whammy look. <laughs> do do down, do 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 it. Right, let's join the map up a bit. Actually, we're not. How far away? That castle's the one with. Um, is that? Is that where we went yesterday? Yeah, I think it was, wasn't it? What are we going to do for three weeks without you, Pepper? Jesus, mate. Can't resist making that noise every time I go past something I've got max capacity on. Oh, an owl! That's it, isn't it? An owl looks friendly. Wonder if owls like strawberry cake. Nope. Oh, owls look awesome. How about some 
chocolate. No. What about some pink jelly? No. Good. It looks well cool. I think an owl has just become my most wanted pet. Actually, is there any way to tempt them out of the water? Can't see the rest of that chat, Pepper. Ah, oh, wizard! God damn it, it's jumped in the water. Oh, you know what I've not done? I put Billy Bite about. Did Bite just go up on the top of that tree? <laughs> he did look. <laughs> he obviously tried to spawn next to me, and it, it must be programmed in so he went to the. Uh, closest vertical spot on top of the tree. What a, oh no, we'll leave them alone. Oh, getting close to whatever that sword is. Oh, maybe not. It's just the angle I was looking at. <laughs> it's bloody miles away. Good jumping, Grumble. Do <laughs> I love those splash blocks. Cool little touch. Ooh. Come and have some cool me. Oh, jeez. Seen a lot of the spike creatures tonight. Not sure what that means, Pepper. Presumably not something good. What the hell was that? Is that a sheep? Oh, oh it's bloody awesome, isn't it? I'm going to screenshot that little dude. I like him. Ah, oh, yes, witches. Die, little beasties. Ah, oh, they are nasty. Right, let's get one down. Two down, oh, yes. Oh, it's all working out beautifully. Grumble's gone all tactical. Tactical ninja on him. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
no use to me. What a surprise. I think there's just not a lot of rogues in terms of mobs. I see lots of warriors and mages and rangers. There's very few rogues. I think I've missed that three or four. Let's have a mushroom spit. Can't believe Twitch chat is down again. Very poor show, chaps. Oh, a mole. Can I tame you, little mole, dude? Oh, no, I don't want that, do I? Do you like strawberry cake? Chocolate? How about Jella? Bloody hell. I can't remember what uh, Ninja said. All those different food items all corresponded to in terms of pets. And even if he was here tonight, he wouldn't be able to tell me anyway. I've actually got five points to spend. See what I might do when I'm next on is uh, head back to town and pick up a hang glider if I can afford it. I can't imagine how much, or can't remember how much they were though. I think they were quite steep. Certainly weren't cheap, cheap. Yeah, definitely, Papa. Good background music. Put them on when you're playing something like Skyrim, mate. It's not a kind of thing you just pop on for any old thing. Get real deep and sort of involved in a Skyrim session and pop it on. That's a big looking ogre. These shoulder pads, man. She give him a whirl. You're not a fan of the Skyrim intro music, mate. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think of that chap's name. He did the Dan Bull. Look up on YouTube a chap called Dan Bull. And have a look at his uh, Skyrim rap. It's absolutely awesome. Oh, oh! Oh, no! God damn pants. Pants, pants, pants. Check out Dan Bullpepper. He's done raps for loads of games. Some, are, I mean, some of them are, you know, amusing at best, I suppose. But uh, some of them are absolutely epic. Obviously, if you're really into a game, it's uh, pretty cool. I'm just getting revenge for getting battered by that bloody ogre. Poor cows have done absolutely nothing to me. 
Where did you get a lot of experience points? Five. Oh, that sword is right in front of me, so there's a boss up here somewhere. Oh, I bet I'll be another bloody beetle boss. Yeah, nearly on it. Let's take these beetles out. Favourite character in Star Wars was always Han Solo, to be honest. And Lord of the Rings was Gimli. I don't acknowledge the existence of certain other Star Wars films. Yeah, I'm a massive Harrison Ford fan, mate. Love pretty much all of his stuff. Defeat the Saurian or Saurian? What the hell is one of them? Oh Christ! Look at it. It's up in the tree, I think. Oh, what is that? You know what happened last time we found a mob in a tree, don't you? It sat on Grumble's face. Oh, check that thing out. Oh man, it's like Bowser Returns, look. Oh, <laughs> awesome sound effect. <laughs> oh god, where's he gone? I thought he, oh, he shifted, he's moved. Oh god, here he is, look. He's a coming. Oh, that is bloody awesome. Oh, look, it's actually... Oh, man. It's destroying cubes. Well, I reckon we might have a chance of taking this boy down. I've got to get a screenshot of that. Oh no! It's all going wrong! Hey, oh, well, well, well done, Bumble. I need Billy Boy to die. <laughs> Billy Boy's going for it, look. <laughs> Go on, mate, you can do it. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Hey, up, oh, Peppy, you're back in chat, mate. Right, screenshot time. I've got to get one. I don't know if I got a good one. Nah, can't get a decent one. Okay, let's take him out. See there, that didn't sound good at all. I'm really impressed with old Billy Boy here. Yeah. They look 
Thanks that way, Pepper. Hey, what flatters on the steam sale look? <laughs> I'm going to do a Far Cry 3 kind of session once I've got my GTX 780. Not that I can't play it now, it's just it's one of those games that I've been kind of saving. Same as um, Metro Last Light. And Crisis 3 of course. Hey, oh, that gave me some experience points. 44. Oh, look at this. Oh, I do not believe it. Armor for a ranger and an iron shield for a warrior. This game takes the biscuit for drops and bloody rogues. Getting a bit peed off with that. Is this a new boundary? Yeah, it is. Should we see what... um? biome it opens up. We have, oh, we're not, yeah, we're not that far from it. I'm going to have a look what biome it opens up and then, uh, Pepper! That's terrible, mate. You're such a wind-up merchant. There's a chap on Twitch called uh, Wheeze who is doing or creating kind of like a whole city. Oh, yeah, it is a city now. I think it started off as a town um, with associated quests and all sorts. And he streams himself working with the um, editor, you know, actually building dungeons and different housing options and all the rest of it and it's, it's really quite fascinating and he quite often has that kind of music playing in the background it's a very relaxing chilled out stream highly recommend it actually I'm not sure when oh look a towel he said you need was it a candid something or another for that not the candy sweet, an actual... Oh, I've got another carrot from somewhere. Yeah, I would really like a turtle. See what they're like, actually, as a tank. Oh, steady on, Grumble. Oh, is it a candied apple for a horse? Let's go and kill that bat. Oh god, that base on that TV is driving me up. Woo! Where's our dotted line? Just over there. Oh, it just looks like the same kind of biome as the one we're in. I mean, maybe there aren't other biomes. I don't know. Maybe everything's this kind of foresty setup. Is the city always kind of based in the middle of the biome? You can't zoom into sections of the map that you're not in, it's just always centered on you. Oh, it shows you the city, right? There's, there's my objective for tomorrow. Hello, Flatter. He smells like dwarf in here. <laughs> Were you a bit tempted for Far Cry 3 then, Flatter? I 
Oh my god, I'm level 9! What was that, level 6 or something? I think Far Cry 3's been on sale a few times, mate. I don't, I've got no idea what the co-op in Far Cry 3 is like, mate. I've never seen anyone play co-op Far Cry 3. I should imagine it's pretty bloody good, though. The game itself is excellent. And yet again, I feel like I say this all the time, actually. I have played it for endless hours, but not actually got very far in it. I'm a bit hopeless with sandbox games. Well, maybe that's the point. Oh my god, they are... The orange plus threes. That is not good at all. You really are skin, ain't you, Flatter? Ah, well. Won't be forever, mate. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. That's did some damage to him, not. Ah. Yeah. Okie dokie. Starting me right near a cave though, look. That's an iron deposit, look. It's all worked out in the end. Can't complain with that death. Although it is go. Oh dear. It's all getting a bit dark. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Oh, this is the biggest cave. Oh. Why is he not taking damage? It's only orange, for goodness sake. Ah! Oh, Billy Boy, what happened? Billy Boy's remains were glowing in the distance. This bat's really bloody annoying. Yes, and stay down. You really are desperate, aren't you, Flatter? Jesus Christ, right? I wouldn't worry too much about that. It's been a similar price plenty of times, mate. It's not a fantastic price. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice little adventure through that cave. I am, of course, heading in completely the wrong direction, though. I think he's tempted, Flatter. <laughs> oh, look at that little encampment down there. Right, shady bunch, I reckon. We'll leave them well alone. might actually be a really bad idea coming through here because everything seems to be not just orange and red but plus three I wonder if it's just this small start again small section or um oh, this is wicked a silver deposit this time Must remember to actually pick the drops up. It's very easy to forget. Uh oh. Oh, 
Bloody hell. That went a lot better than I thought it was going to. <sighs> what you been doing on the Minecraft server then, Flagger? I got your um, Steam message earlier. You're up all night on it, yeah. I think we found more iron tonight than um we have for the whole game so far. Oh, it's so hot. Sweat is dripping out of me. There's a pleasant image for you all. Oh! Oh no, level 3. Let's get the hell out of there. These are good guys. Come and help me from this psycho collie, please. Thank you guys! Very nice of you. <laughs> Hot sweaty little dwarf. range on these guys. Oh, get out of there, dude. <laughs> oh, he's just healed all the way up. Virtually dead. Yeah, it's just you left there. Punk. That was quite a savage fight there.
Oh, you see, this is my point, Flooder. You're making it sound like hard work. And that's how Minecraft started to feel at times. Come on, little grumble. Those peacocks look a little bit like those things from, um, what's it called, Far Cry 3. Those sort of killer peacocks. What are they called? Castle fairies or something. <laughs> Tough critter he is, isn't it? Oh, I got six experience points. He was a tough one. Oh, Flader. I've got to ask you, have you got Borderlands 2? Oh, drank a bloody patient, I didn't mean to do that. God damn you. Oh, right. I thought you'd got it. I was going to say, we might try and set up um, a little bit of multiplayer on it. A bit of multiplayer co-op in Borderlands 2 sounds like a lot of fun, actually. I've never played the... Oh my god! Damn witches! Ne oh, whoa! What the hell did they just hit me with? Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Take that! Magic wielding scum! Oh, sorry, mate, did you? I can't keep track of who's got what. I do apologise. Old dwarf indeed.
Right, I'll tell you what, chaps. I'm gonna call this stream it for the night here, I think. <sighs> and what I think I'll do is I'm gonna have a little bit of a tweak around with the old Borderlands. I was gonna play some Just Cause 2, but I I'll be honest with you, I'm so damn hot, I really need to cool down a bit. I might go and sit outside for half an hour. Um, I might pack, pop back on later though. Um, definitely going to play a bit of Borderlands 2 at some point tomorrow. So I'll chuck you a message um, if you're interested, guys. Obviously, I know you've not got it, Flader, but um, if you do pick it up, mate. So. I wonder. Oh no, I've just, you, don't, you start where you leave it in this game, don't you? I think you need to be near a respawn spot. Of course you don't. So. Thanks loads for watching. Obviously, my apologies on behalf of Twitch for chat not working yet again, but not a lot we can do about that, unfortunately. Thanks for popping on Steam chat for a bit, Pepper. That was really handy. Hope you both have a top night. Might catch you again later. If not, certainly be on tomorrow. So have a top night. Have a top weekend. See you later.